Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, redo on the seasonal. Um, we got some uh, momentum. Season of the Viper. They switched it up. This one will last until the end of the month. So um, I think you got like a week and a half, two weeks. I'm not sure. Uh, but instead of just doing one deck, I did two. Change it up a little bit. Give you two options. So the um, ladder isn't flooded with all the stuff, you know, that's uh, the same. Uh, first up, we, I went with Line Pockets. It's very similar to the uh, Tier 0 list that's soon to be on TeamLeviathanGaming.com. Um, the list is just really, really good. Um, I made some changes to it. Um, I added some uh, Blacksmiths. Uh, they're really nice to... You get a boost out of it, so every coin costs gets you two because you get one from the boost, one from the vitality. I uh, put Yennefer in here. If you do have a big board, you could play her, uh, especially with uh, all the Cleaver um, muscle guys. You can boost those all up if you have more than your opponent. Or you could just play it for damage, and it doesn't hit because the Cleaver's muscle has shield. So that's a nice little trick there. Um, still got the Tunnel Drill because it's just stupid good. Um, Pickpocket, just to fill up your bank. A Nero. You still gotta play Yurden. There's gonna be a ton of boosts. If you get last say, you'll see in both these games, uh, you're in good shape. Um, I still have Justice in here because the tempo you get with the um, Safe Crackers is just really, really good. Um, other than that, I think the list is pretty solid. It doesn't have a lot of units because you still wanna play Crimes, but I think you can always tempo out as long as you draw your Justice and a Safe Cracker. And uh, take care of whatever they're trying to put down on the board with uh, paydays and uh, bloody good funds. Uh, let's switch over to the um, tempering list. Mahakam Forge, sorry. Um, so this was the other one I came up with. It looks bugged, so let's try this again. Alright, uh, so we went with uh, Tactical Advantage. Um, to possibly bump up uh, one of the, where'd they go? Uh, the defenders, they're really good in this mode. Uh, Barclays can bump them up if you got a lot. Uh, the carryover is really nice, being able to take Zoltan or Gabor and carry him over to the next round. Um, we still have some other um, options here. So the way I play it is if I have Gaten or if I have the ability to draw Gaten, I play everything on melee. And then um, kick them back to the back row. And then if you are able to save Gezerus for that um, last round or whatever. You play Gaten with five cards in hand. You play Gezerus with four. And then you can even do a little double if they don't take care of Gezerus. With um, the movement uh, Pauly Dahlberg. You move him back up to the melee. And he jumps back to ranged. It's really nice. Uh, a couple Berserkers. They're pretty good in this mode. Because they do pings unless you're in the mirror and then you're going to hit armor. Uh, miners are a good opener play because you can bump up your defender. I do have one lock in here just as an answer because you don't really have direct damage with this list. It's pretty just cut and dry boosty. Um, these are also pretty good, the Mahakam Guards. Even if you only play them with like three or four cards on the row, um, they're still going to boost for a minute. So it's always a good thing. And then... Um, uh, Bruver, stupid good card, especially if they can't get the armor off your guys. Um, he's just gonna buzz saw through, uh, especially if you've got the chance to play both carryovers and they can't handle them. Um, you can push for the 2 0 and then possibly carry over, you know, nine strength, which is always really good. Um, so two lists, uh, one video, all for you from the seasonal man. Um, just thank you guys so much for everything. Um, really really appreciative man it uh um i always enjoy doing the seasonal list i know it's not everybody's thing because it's not super competitive but um i think it's a nice break from the you know ladder especially if you're running into the same lists or if you get on tilt you know you can pop in here make something of your own and um, not really suffer the consequences of possibly you know losing some uh portrait pieces so and once uh draft mode gets squared away i'm probably going to dedicate at least two days to draft mode um i've always liked draft mode and i as long as they set it up to where after you get so many wins 
you know, you get to buy new cards or something like that. I think the mode's going to be really, really fun. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, here's a couple games. I'll see you at the end. Patricidal. I'm a dwarf of business. So he'll play it wherever I play my, what's it called? The Yurden's going to be trash. Is it, though? You would think he would still get boosts somewhere. You want to drop the safe cracker, though. The boat. And the gourd. Okay, this works. Not a lot of crimes in hand, though. Three, four. It requires patience. A keen year. It should get us the round, though. Raiding fleet. So that switches to a four. We get rid of the boost instantly, though, with the crime. That's fine. Grab up the safe cracker. Do we stack? I don't think it matters. Take it out next turn with the payday. Unless you could boost it. We still got reach with this. That can get ugly. So I think we kill this first. Um, this overspends. Let's see if he wants to keep going. They usually don't run Yurden, so we don't have to really worry about that. This over really overspends. We raid, we fight, we plunder. Full service! Okay, good. So he just wanted to set up his graveyard. It seems like it's just a normal list, so Yurden I don't think is going to be any good. We'll get rid of it. Alright. Get rid of one spender. What's our pull for Furco? Bloody good fun. Shakedown, even eavesdrop, maybe even pickpocket. I think we dropped the Yurden. Alright, this is fun. So I think we bleed. It jumps up to a six. He needs eight points to kill it unless he uses his Morkvarg, which he does. We're okay with it. No Intimidate engines on the board, though, which is kind of sad. We didn't use a Nero. So we can always use that for a Spender. We have the Pocket. Let's go with Furco. Never a problem. Four inches of steel go Pickpocket. Spend once, get the boat out. So we don't brick it. We're gonna overspend one because of the blacksmith. But I think it's fine. Ship, we kill it. Wow, man. Well, we over profit one. I think it's fine. Ten percent for peace of mind. I think it's fine. We maybe could have played the Sea Jackal since this was gone. It might have been a little bit more spender friendly. 
So he goes Blood Eagle and kills this. What does he grab up? Does he grab a Herald? Well, this kills it. We overspend. I this all day. I don't know what that was, but we ain't having it. Herkia, does he spend? Greedy. Greedy. This is in currently a six. I think this is our path. Because this overspends by six. He goes down to seven. We go down two. So we're 19. We might need this next round. I think we're okay with the pass here. He needs eight. It's not easy to do. I mean, he's in round two. He could play his Skjordle, does it? Because he's just playing standard Patricidal. It's gotta it's it's not easy to do eight in round two. I should have played the Sea Jackal though. Really? Wild Boar three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well that's good we got that out of him. <laughs> it's good we got that out of him. We got Yennefer for something similar if we need to. So we care over one coin. We have two spenders. We have the drill. This gotta go. Eavesdrop is really good. We'd like to get either Yurden or Gord. So I think we drop the blacksmith. That's alright, I guess. We could still find it. We got one chance here. One in six. So this hits for five right now. We can hit higher if we need to. We don't have the pocket for the drill though, which kind of sucks. I just realized. Harold. Here's the better loot than in your wildest, wettest dreams. Yeah, we just kill Harold. Women, children, elders, we spare none. If we play this, it's only damage one. We have no crown splitters, unfortunately. So we just play the bloody good crown. We go uninteractive for a minute. We'll get a boat out. Very corpses? Nay, you are close to the crabs where they still live. This doesn't matter which one we play. He's gonna have Blood Eagle twice. Which kinda hurts. I guess I should have been heroed for the drill if I was gonna play those. Really? What did he discard? Gutting slash. You're safe to be carried under my roof. We drop the tunnel drill. Boat comes out. That's nice. Dagor, huh? Well, we might have a... Death is only the beginning! 
We might have a Morkvark tar or a thing target. Why not just let it die? He dropped Morkvark, so I think we're okay to spend. One man's battlefield is another man's right. I think we just spend once though. So we can reset this. This'll be pretty good. So he gets Blood Eagle into... So he was a... Yeah, we just reset that. We still get the value. So he's losing 20. We spend... Go here. Humanity will perish. What the Hatred. This will be the I'm a life sword. Do we spend some more? We just get the boat out. I guess his last card maybe is. I mean, he's losing all this, so we don't care. I don't think we have to spend either way. Hemdall, not that great. It's pretty good. I mean, hit the armor a couple times. So we go here. No need to spend. So he's losing. 1920 and we got a couple good spends but, oh he's gonna kill it shit <laughs> reasons for the fable of heart oh, wait it's only five okay <laughs> that was close <laughs> all right so we go Yurden. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try uh, some uh, Scoy Tell Dwarves next. Monsters. Mahakam wasn't a belt in a day. Dang, we go first though. Alright. It'd be nice to get dominance, but I don't think it's gonna happen. These are both good. Carryover, carryover is good. Um, we just got to get lost, say, with the Nero. Maybe we drop this. He's going to have armor. So first we go here. Humans are buff. Beast we got Gaten, but it kind of anti-synergizes with all the Thrive stuff. Yeah. We get this online, though. Then we can go Justice. Wanna fuck my axe? He might just 2-0 us. We gotta be careful. I think we go justice to thin. So it goes Bruxa. We gotta be careful. Because these bleeds suck. Yeah, we get these out. We have done it no. Then I think we just play Zoltan and pass. He's gonna need at least three cards. Well, maybe not three, but at least. Oh, I can use a pipe. Yeah, we just pass. 
He'll, he at least has to play two. And then if I can get carry over with Zoltan, that might be Ergabor. Gabe Troll. All right, so we get out. Yeah, that'll work. He gets a good Oz roll. Fortunately, we get carry over. So it's not as bad. That's just way too much. And we gotta save the Yurden. Get rid of this. Where do we get the boost for this? I guess we always we can always get it from Gezerus. I think maybe we drop the Marauder. What's our Anira's Bruiser? We lost all our armor, that kind of sucks. Hmm. We gotta use Bruver to get our boosts up. I guess we just play this and chill. So he goes Fuka. He's get two boosts. Um. I guess we could just do this. Gotta move on, lads. Look alive. So we go here, here, and then maybe Gaten. Alright. I guess we can... No, because we want to move Gezers back once. He's going to have a ton of Thrives. Catacan. So these Thrive twice. So they jump to sixes? Wow. That's dangerous. Up the fence, right? So he could pass. Well, no, he can't pass here. Yeah, I think we go Gabor now. It's a little late. We'll boost him up. Just to be on the safe side. Next we go Gaten. Hopefully we get some good bleeds. Then we'll be able to go... Well... He's all in on it. But I mean, I got a good... So we go Gaten. I admit I lost my temper. Lost it bad. Ah, uh, a couple bad bleeds. Next we go Gezerus. I mean, we should be. We have carryover, which is nice. But he's got some bigger units. No point in showing mercy. No point. I think if he goes for the 2-0 here, yeah, okay. So we had to, so we got to use our Yurden. Let's get this over with. Alright, so we carry over a 5, but we used up all our bombs. I mean, really all we have left is Xavier and Bruver. Which isn't bad. I 
That's good. This is good. Um, this is our Nero. So this is our, well, we want dwarves, right? I guess this is our hand. So we go a Nero for this. I guess it doesn't boost it up ever anyways. We can go up here. Oh, well, we get armor from this guy. Yeah, we don't have to worry about gaining armor. Because I could put armor here. You play Bruver, then this. Than this, so he has the Thrive package as well. <laughs> I mean, he gets it, which is hilarious. But nothing like a dwarf to get you out of that tight spot. <laughs> He's got a eager though. We know that. He's watch him still win. Oh, he has the Koshke. Okay. Um. Does this ever really come into play? No. The move. Well. It does. I guess we move this. Because we can give armor here. 36. So he gets Yeagern. That's 13. He gets 26. He gets two Thrives. It's not enough. Right, come on. 41. Osril's 13. That's 17, 18, 19. I don't think he's got enough. I think him using the leader there was wrong. Should have saved the leader. Yeah. Incorrect. Fun game though. Fun game. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, two two decks for the seasonal, so you could switch it up. You could pick what you want. Let me know what you think. Uh, lots of dwarves though, which I think is fun. Um, Thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you guys next time.